Sha Sha Shaman three. Hmm. Pay attention. <laughs> that, was, that should just be the the message, the tip of the day. Just pay attention, for God's sake, Mark. Pay attention. So here we are, Shaman three. We're up against some tier sixes, a pair, a platoon of KV twos. Well, if I was a KV2, which way would I go? Now I ask this because my plan is obviously going to be avoid the fuck out of the pair of KV2s. That is bad news. I mean, one of them is bad news. Two of them together? Mm. No, sir. I don't like it. First things first, let's see where the team's going. That way. Well, I could either be a hero and go off on my own, or I could follow the rest of the team and just hope that overwhelming odds and numbers mean that we will we will be okay. Is this a great strategy? Mm, I mean to be fair, like refuse flank is a thing, that's like this could work. But obviously, part of the problem with the sort of the tactic of all taking one flank is you need to be essentially aggressive with it. It requires a certain amount of coordination to go. Okay, look, here's the plan. We're all gonna we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna be aggressive down this side before they can respond. If if you give up speed. If you give up sort of the the aggressive initiative, I think you're probably in trouble. Oh, they are big guns though. Apparently 9.14 is going to have bigger gun sounds. I hope that's true. Please let that be true. Like, like, you know, big gun noises and shattering my eardrums. Those are two things that I'm really into at the moment. I get the feeling that I'm going to be less into them once patch 9.4 hits and my eardrums are shattered. Ooh. So we are we going to just defend here? Is this, is this the plan? And there's that KV2 that I was worried about. So, I absolutely love playing KV-2, it's probably my favourite tank in the game that I actually have. I think the Tug-2 is my favourite sort of vehicle in the game just for how it looks. But one of the things about the KV-2 is you can't... You can't let that tank decide when you're going to fight. Because it's got... It, it takes like half a minute to reload its gun. God, they've all gone that side as well. Let's get the to the side, see if I can get some cheeky shots in. We didn't penetrate their armor. I mean, the shots are cheeky, but they don't do much. Got Apart from that one. Alright. We didn't even scratch. Look at the cheeky taffy. Look at him go. He go. doesn't give a shit. He's like Oh my god, this is The pincer movement is real, it's happening. We've actually managed to do well against the bunkered down pair of KV twos. I'll be honest, my mind is a little bit blown at the moment. This isn't what I was expecting, and it wasn't what I was expecting in the good way. As in, I, I thought this was going to go horribly wrong, and... Okay, we might... I think we're going to have to commit to a cap, though, because... They've got quite a few people... Oh, 
if this base is open though. They're going to tell me off for capping, aren't they? But honestly, like, it's not that I doubt our KV-1 and our Rudy is going to win this. But we've got, like, no cap. Like, like... Oh no, and the guy who's like, no cap, has invited me to the platoon. Like, no, we, we've got to cap this, sorry. 